Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we will again solve 10 problems of geometric progression. <clears throat> These 10 problems are also very easy. And after this slide, slightly involving problems will start coming on geometric progression. So as always, do not look at the solution immediately. First, you try to solve it. Only if you cannot solve it, then look at the solution. When it is a problem slide, you should pause the video while I read the question and then you move on to answer if you cannot solve it. The problem number 51 says that find 1 minus half plus 1 by 4 minus half 1 by h to n terms. We have solved this kind of question in our previous video as well. In this case common ratio is minus half and first term is a and number of terms is n. So the end result would be 2 by 3 multiplied with 1 minus minus 1 whole to the power n minus whole to the power n divided by 2 to the power n. Problem number 52 says that if you had a choice of a sal of a salary, sorry, it, it has come twice, of a salary of thousand dollars a day for a month of 31 days or dollar one for the first day, doubling every day, which choice would you make? So in case you want thousand dollars every day, then the sum would be 31,000. But if you choose 1 plus 2 plus 4 and so on to 31 terms, it should not be n terms, 31 terms. Then <coughs> the final result would be 2 to the power 31 minus 1 by 2 minus 1, which is dollars, uh, which is a large number in dollars. So how do we compute this? So we know that 2 to the power 5 is 32. So 2 to the power 10 will become 32 square, which is 1024. And 2 to the power 10, 20 will become 1 million. 48,526. So clearly 2 to the power 31 minus 1 will be greater than 31,000 and therefore everyone should make second choice. There is no doubt about it. Problem number 53 says that how many terms of the series 1 plus 3 plus 3 square plus 3 cube must be taken to make 3,280. So here sum is 3,280 is equal to 1 into 3 to the power n minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1. So 3 minus 1 is 2. We multiply 2 with 3280, which is 6560. So 3 to the power n becomes 6561 because we move minus 1 to right hand side and we add it to 6560. And therefore, we know that n is equal to 8. Find the least value of n for which 1 plus 3 plus 3 square plus uh, up to 3 to the power n greater than 1000. In this case, we have sum as 3 to the power n minus 1 by 3 minus 1 greater than 1000. So 3 to the power n greater than 2001 because 2 in two in the denominator, 3 minus 1 is 2. That in the denominator when multiplied with 1000 is 2000. 3 to the power n minus 1 greater than 2000. Therefore 3 to the power n greater than 2001. Now we know that 3 to the power 6 is 729 and 3 to the power 7 is 2187. So the least value of n would be 7. Problem number 55 says that find 1 plus half plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 to infinity. In this case, we will apply the sum formula for infinite number of terms. Here modulus r is less than 1. So it's a convergent series. What is a convergent series? You will learn later in college. So s infinity is equal to a by 1 minus r is equal to 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2 is equal to 2. Problem number 56 says that a person starts collecting dollar one first day, dollar three second day, dollar nine third day, and so on. What will be his collection in 20 days? So this is a GP with A is equal to one, R is equal to three. So sum of 20 terms would be one into three to the power 20 minus one by three minus one is equal to three to the power 20 minus one by two, which is actually a very large number if you want to read it. It is 1,743,392,200. Find the sum of x squared plus 1 by x squared plus 2 plus x to the power 4 plus 1 by x to the power 4 plus 5 plus x to the power 6 plus 1 by x to the power 6 plus 8 up to n terms. Now, if you look carefully, it's a sum of two GPs and one AP. The first GP geometric progression is x squared plus x to the power 4 plus x to the power 6 and so on. The second geometric progression is 1 by x squared plus 1 by x to the power 4 plus 1 by x to the power 6 and so on. The arithmetic progression is 2 plus 5 plus 8. 
So we apply the formula and we get the end result as x to the power 2n minus 1 plus minus 1 by x square minus 1. Oh, this shouldn't be x to the power 2n minus 1, it should be x to the power 2n. So x to the power 2n minus 1 by x square minus 1 multiplied with x square plus 1 by x to the power 2n plus n into 3n plus 1 by 2. Problem number 58 says that how many terms of the series 1 plus 2 plus 2 square plus so on must be taken to make 511. So this is similar to this one which we have done with 1 plus 3, 1 plus 3 plus 3 square plus 3 cube. So in this case Sn is 2 to the power n minus 1 by 2 to the power 2 minus 1 is equal to 511. So denominator is 2 minus 1 which is equal to 1. So 2 to the power n minus 1 is equal to 511. 2 to the power n is equal to 512, which is which results in n being 9. Problem number 59 says that find the least value of n such that 1 plus 2 plus 2 square plus up to 2 to the power n greater than or equal to 300. So in this case again 2 to the power n minus 1 will be greater or equal than 301. We know that 2 to the power 8 is 256 and 2 to the power 9 is 512. So the least value of n will be 9. Problem number 60 says that determine the number of terms of a GP if a1 is equal to 3, a to the power n is equal to 96 and sn is equal to 189. So in this case uh, we know that an is equal to a1 r to the power n minus 1 and a1 is 3. So 3 r to the power n minus 1 is equal to 96. So r to the power n minus 1 is 32. Now sum is a1 multiplied with r to the power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 is equal to 189. We can rewrite r to the power n as r to the power n minus 1 into r. So now we substitute r to the power n minus 1 with 32. So we get 32 minus r by r minus 1 is equal to 63 because we divide 189 by 3 which gives us 63. This leads, this equation leads r to be 2. Now once r is 2, we substitute it uh, in the formula for r to the power n minus 1 is equal to 32. So 2 to the power n minus 1 is equal to 32 gives us n minus 1 is equal to 5 because 32 is 2 to the power 5. So n becomes 6. With this, we come to an end of uh, problem number 60. And in, our, in my next video, I'll continue with geometric progression. If you have found this video useful and informative, Please subscribe to the my please subscribe to my channel and like the video. If you have comments or suggestions, please let me know in comment box. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Enjoy.